It's got one of the world's best waterfront views. Now, Taronga Zoo's been accused of exploiting it for those who can afford a room in a luxury eco-resort. The $45 million five-storey, 62-bed complex would be built here, on land originally intended for animals. The people will come along to those experiences. There's a whole suite of tours and activities that people can sign up for. Many staff, including keepers, have voiced their opposition to the plan. Certainly it's hard to find the link between uh, wildlife conservation and five-star accommodation. The high-end resort has also outraged animal rights campaigners. We see the rise of these types of developments in Vietnam, um, but I thought Australia was moving away from these types of practices. Animal activists say it's hard to see how this luxury resort fits in with the primary aims of a zoo, which are animal display, breeding research and raising awareness about conservation. A report into the project found it will be aimed at wealthy tourists and weddings, corporate and business events. Bosman Council has lodged its objection to the resort along with many locals. The state's significance of Taronga Zoo means planning New South Wales will make the final call. But the zoo's spokesman told us it's a done deal with work due to start this year and the resort opening in 2018. Well, if it is a done deal, certainly we will be calling upon you know, the minister. Taronga Zoo has 1.8 million visitors a year, though it seems only the richest few will be able to afford this animal attraction. Brian Seymour, 7 News.